So in the first video, we got the frame put together, the gas tank mounted, the throttle and kill switch, along with the oil catch can, and then the engine put together. So this time around, I got everything back from the plating shop. So I'm gonna go ahead and finish up the build. So the wires on this kill switch are kind of short. So I'm gonna extend this out. Heat up these solder joints. So got the kill shits wired up. So now I'm going to swap out this wire and this resistor boot for this split fire non-resistor wire, 8.8 .8 wire. So I think this will look pretty good on this bike. And it doesn't have the resistor on the boot, so it won't retard timing. Let's pull this wire off of here. So these wires here might be a little bit too long, but you can always cut them down. So let me cut that right there. So got the wire on there, it looks pretty good. So I got the stuff back from the plating shop. But one thing I noticed, the blower housing hits my foot peg. My foot peg cover is really thick. And I noticed Volts has some on their website that are a lot thinner, that would probably work on here. But I don't have those. So to fix that problem, so I'm gonna install this plate. So at least that way it lift the engine up just a little bit. So to clear the foot peg. I think I like the plate turned around this way. So I'm gonna drill out these holes. It's got the holes drilled. So that'll work. See, now I feel better about things because on every build, I at least gotta weld or drill something. If I don't, I don't feel right about it. That looks pretty good on there. So I think that'll work. Give me a little bit more clearance right there. Let's see if this thing will go on here. Okay, so there we go. Now we got clearance. Got the blower housing all bolted up. Everything clears now. Got the kill switch on there. So now I think I'll make a roller out of it and bolt up the back wheel. I got the sprocket plated, or actually polished, I think, because it was aluminum. And then I got the sprocket hub polished. But the only thing is, I forgot to tell them to polish the inside, and that's the part that it shows. So I think I'll paint the inside of this sprocket hub to kind of match the frame. So that turned out pretty sweet. Chrome on one side and then paint it on the other. Yeah, that don't look too bad. I think that'll go good with the sprocket being um, polished. And now I'll throw the wheel together, throw the slick on here. So I got the tube in the tire. Kind of cool being able to do these um, wheels again that have the split wheels and the tubes. Makes everything a lot easier than using a pry bar to put the wheels on. Kind of nice for a change. So that looks pretty nice. I like that color. Throw the sprocket on here. Man, I should have grabbed some chrome bolts. Some chrome bolts or some Allen bolts. So I think these Allen bolts with a washer look really good on here. Oh yeah, that'll work. So that turned out pretty sweet. Got the blue cap, accented cap, the bolt sent up. Now blue looks pretty nice in there. See if I can get this bolt in here with this powder coat. Get this wheel centered up on here. 
throw some Loctite in here on this collar just to make sure. That looks pretty nice. So now I'll throw a clutch on here and a chain. Throw on some RLV Golden on Black. Yeah, it feels about right. So let me throw this pipe on here. So while I was at it, I got the pipe dipped. I even got the exhaust trumpet dipped. But the only thing is, I should have tacked it on here before I uh, sent it to the chrome shop. So now I gotta use a clamp on here. I think pretty much all we have to do now is the fuel line and the seat. And I think that's pretty much it. I'm gonna inline filter. Might as well throw an inline shutoff valve on here. It makes it easier when I wanna swap out jets. So I think that's pretty much it. Throw some oil and gas in it. And throw the seat on here. Yeah, there's one more thing I'm gonna have to do is grab a spring for the uh, for the brake. Well, it looks like we pretty much got her finished up. I think there's one more thing I need to do though, because this bike doesn't have enough blue accents on it. It needs one more blue accent to be complete. I picked up this blue magnetic drain plug. So I think this will look pretty good on here and it'll collect any metal shavings in the oil. There's a little bit of oil in there. So now the bike is complete. 